Hi, my name is KZ Tunes, and welcome to KZ Talks. Today we're going to be talking a lot about my social awkwardness, the fact that I'm really shy, and marching band. Lots of marching band. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll get right into that now. I go to a really small high school. Like, compared to some other schools, in the state I live in, it's fairly big, but compared to the schools that we, like, play sports against and stuff, my school is tiny. Um, there are 200 kids in my, uh, actually, no, there are less than that now, it's like 180 kids in my graduating class. There are three towns worth of students at my school. So, yeah. Fun times. But yeah, in the town I grew up in, I would have, I think there's like double that. Like, I still have friends from that town. And I want to say their graduating class has like 400 people in it or something like that, I think. I don't know. The school, like the high school, has, I think, three or four different elementary schools that all funnel into it. In that town, and then now that I moved to where I live now, like so before class sizes, like in my old town, the class sizes were like, uh, just like a, a, a really screwed up Neo. Like, I think my, the largest class I was in, in elementary school in my old town was 27 students. And then when I moved he, where I live now, my class had, I think, I want to say like 18 kids, so almost like 10 kids less, which was nice because then I got more specialized attention for stuff and that's when they were like oh it's like I used to be unbelievably shy okay I'm still pretty shy but I've gotten a lot better but when I was younger um I was the kid who just sat and didn't like working class and didn't do much else like I didn't pay attention to anything else I guess like I wasn't getting into since I wasn't getting into I like since I wasn't getting into trouble I wasn't getting any attention from the teacher like I, my old school was very much so unless you're a problem kid the teacher's not gonna pay too much attention to you which sucked because my parents were like convinced could have done a lot more like with my schoolwork wise because I was having it it was a breeze my schoolwork was a breeze and then when I went to my school that like my elementary school that we ended up going to um they used to have me come in before school I don't remember this because I I understandably don't remember this I'm pretty sure I blocked it out but Apparently, the music teacher would have me come in before school and practice singing with her to try and help me get out of my shell. And then they also put me in some accelerated, like, smart programs or whatever, I guess. Like, I'm not saying I'm smart anymore, but as a kid, I was. For a third grader, I was pretty smart. But I was put in, like, this extra math group. And then they also put me on the school's, like, broadcast team in third grade. So I was at school early a lot of the days of the week. Because, for some reason, a lot of clubs in elementary school take place before school. I don't remember why that was a thing, but it was. So that's what I spent most of elementary school doing. And then I got into upper elementary which is a different elementary school for my district. 
which is like fourth and fifth grade. I think that's actually a common thing to have a different school for those great age group of kids. But um, at that school, I was put in extra reading classes and stuff like that. They were still like, oh, she's not challenged enough. And all I could think was, why are you doing this to me? And then there's Kippy, who they, like, second grade, she was in extra classes because they were like, oh, yes, smart kid. And I was like, yeah, that, whatever. I'm, I'm smart, too. I like music. I, I, I like music. <laughs> and then, yeah, because in fourth grade, in our, because, you know, American school system, they put you in... Well, okay, so third grade for quarters, because everyone just wants to torture themselves and give a bunch of third graders a shrieky instrument. You know, fun thing. Like, why couldn't we learn something else? Like, I don't know. Ukulele. The elementary school had a ukulele club. Why didn't you just teach everybody ukulele? That's something I would use more now than I did my recorder skills, or lack thereof. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, so we learned recorder in third grade. I'm confused as to what I do from here. Hmm. Ah, oh, dang it. So then we learned recorder, and then in fourth grade, they're like, here are some instruments you can learn how to play. And I picked the clarinet. Why? Because it was the most like the recorder. That's the only thing the recorder had ever, ever helped me with. I was like, it looks like a big fancy recorder. I'll play that. So I did. And then I had to get extra lessons between the summer of fourth and fifth grade because I wasn't practicing enough. Apparently. And so my mom had to take me to the school, like, a couple times every week throughout the summer to get extra lessons. But I really liked playing. I thought it was cool. Then middle school rolled around. And so our band director for our younger school is the same as the one that teaches the middle school. So, like, he teaches at the middle school during the morning. And then he goes and teaches band lessons during recess for the 4th and 5th graders. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he taught us that. He, he would teach at the middle school. Right. And so, by the time 8th grade rolled around, I was... Uh, I don't know how to say this nicely, but I was sick of my band director, so I did chorus and band. The option for the kids who were really musical, or just didn't want to be in band all the time, which is the category I fell into. There we go, finally. Um... So I did chorus for middle, uh, last year of middle school, and it was fun. I'm not good at singing, so there was that. But it honestly helped me come out of my shell quite a bit, because I was forced to sing every other day for an entire school year. Dang it, okay. And then high school rolled around. Well, no, so in eighth grade, I was sick of my middle school band director, partially because I started doing marching band. Well, so the high school marching band every year comes to, the, well, not during the vid, but we go to the middle school and perform for the 7th and 8th graders to be, like, recruitment. You know, like, try and recruit them. 
which so in seventh grade I watched the seventh and eight the high school band and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cool. Which say what you want about marching band like <laughs> marching band is really cool. Especially as a musician, it was cool because knowing that how difficult it is to play an instrument and then like not even like just playing the instrument not even walking while playing the instrument and having the piece memorized and then like memorizing where you have to be on a field but i was like oh my gosh that looks so cool i want to do it so summer or eighth grade rolls around me and my best friend go to the high school the last week of so last week of August, second to last week of August, I think I mentioned it, I think last night I talked about when band camp is, but we went to the high school, my best friend learned how to twirl flag and stuff, which terrifying, well she already knew because she did middle school winter guard, but I was brand new to all of it, and I loved it, and most importantly, I thought the high school band director was so cool. And he was never like, you're terrible at playing the clarinet. He was encouraging all the time. I was like, oh my gosh. So then I signed up for chorus in eighth grade as well. Because I realized that I just wanted, I couldn't wait for high school to have our high school band director. Because I was like, he's so cool. And then freshman year, I did marching band again. But I sprained my right ankle before the season started. So I didn't get to do much. And so I kind of felt like an outcast for a while there. But, you know, it was good. And then during my sophomore year, um, I did marching band again. And... Yeah. But, right, I was talking about band stuff. Anyway, so my sophomore year of high school, the band director comes up to the clarinet section, and he was like, I need someone to play the alto clarinet for this piece that we're going to be playing, because it's a really cool part. And I was like, there were like two people he had on me, had in mind. It was like me and another kid. And so I volunteered. I was like, that looks cool. I'll do it. So I did it. And I actually had not a lot of fun playing the alto at first because it's different. Like, really, when I say it's like different than regular clarinet, it's really different. So I don't know if you've ever seen a bass clarinet. But it's like that, but smaller. And it's technically, you play it, it's in the key of E flat, which I was not used to because I'd played a B flat instrument for like four years. And then I'd also had learned piano a bit when I was younger. So like I was not used to, used to like the E flat sound, but I did it and it was okay. Then we did this small ensemble thing. So, like, he used to do it, I guess, more before I'd started high school, but they would, like, each section would play a piece that was just with instruments from that section. And so we were playing a song, and it had a part for the E flat clarinet. And if you've never seen that, it is the cutest thing. But also, I should mention, never pick what instrument you want to play based on how cute it looks. Never a good idea. But my friend had been playing, a guy in our section had been playing it for the musical in the pit. And he was like, all right, who wants it? I don't want it anymore. And so I was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. And he was like, okay, it's all yours. And I was like, it's so cute. So I played E flat clarinet for clarinet small ensemble. 
And after that, we started doing, and then this school year, we we're doing a small ensemble again, and we needed someone to play the B-flat clarinet, not the B-flat, the bass clarinet. And I was like, I volunteer as tribute. And so I also play the bass clarinet. So now in my house, we have, I have four, well, so technically Kippy and I share the bass clarinet. We like have different mouthpieces and stuff and like reeds, but we share the bass clarinet because she plays it in band too. Ah, dang it. Um, so that's the thing. But I have an alto clarinet at the house. I have an E flat. I have two B flat clarinets. I have my one from elementary school and then the one I got in seventh grade when my parents were like, oh, she's serious about something for once. And it's the one I've used to this day. I've thought about getting a nicer one for when I go to college. But I don't know. I've got a little bit of time before I can do college band. So I was pretty shy, like, to the point where, unless I was close with the teacher, I was scared to ask them questions in class. I remember I came home from school one year and told my parents I talked to my teacher, one of my teachers, on the first day of school, and we got, like, a treat. Because they were like, oh my gosh, she talked to her teacher. But then when I joined marching band... Like, you would have thought it was when I started dancing that I got confidence, but it wasn't. It was marching band. The rush I got the first time I performed on a field, like, performed for somebody. Like, my first band... Band show. Band competition. The rush of adrenaline. Oh my gosh. And it just got better from there. Like, of course, I was scared out of my mind. But I had so much fun. And after, I think it was a football game, actually, was my first performance. Now that I'm thinking about it, football games typically start before band competitions. But I joined, uh, so... I, like, got a lot of confidence, and what was the best feeling ever was I have this friend. We don't really talk, like, a lot. Our parents are friends, so we're friends because of that, and so we'll go through phases when we talk of it. But the best feeling was in eighth grade when we did the, like, band show thing for the middle schoolers I mentioned before that got me into marching band. So I still had got to perform. I got to perform in that when I was in eighth grade because I joined when I was an eighth grader. Nice. Um, like so, I joined in eighth grade. So I got to do that, and it was in front of all of my classmates. I also got to skip class for it, and we played a giant game of ninja. But you know, story for another day. <laughs> um, but he. And the friend emailed me afterwards and told me I did a really good job at the performance. I was like, oh, thanks. I don't think I stopped smiling the entire time. Like, it's like not smiling while I'm playing the instrument, but smiling. Like, when I had the instrument down, I don't think I stopped smiling at all. And he was like, yeah, it looked like you were having the time of your life. And I was like, oh, my gosh. It really did look like that. Which made me really excited that people could. Because usually I'm not a huge... I have what one would like to call RBF. And so, when people can tell that I'm into something, it... Oh, great, this again. It makes me really excited. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have expression on face. Good for me. And I was actually getting pretty good with that kind of stuff and then the vid happened and now I wear a mask everywhere and now if it looks like I'm smiling it usually just means I'm squinting my face huh? I don't even know what that okay 
play was like one of the best feelings when he was like, I could tell you were having fun. I was like, oh my gosh, people can feel the energy. And that was like it. That was when I was like, oh my gosh, performing. I love it. But, you know, I was still the shy kid. I didn't make a whole lot of friends. Like, at this point, my two friends I had in middle school that I hung out with were my friend who did marching band with me, who I met through a sheer burst of freaking will and accident in the bathroom in fourth grade. We, like, met. I had set a goal for myself, fourth grade, since it was going to be an entire other elementary school combining with us, I was like, I'm going to make a new friend. And I was so, I looked at this girl in the bath, like, okay, that sounds really bad. I was in the bathroom at the same time as this girl. And we were talking. And I was like, she seems really cool. And so, like, we were talking, I think we were talking about My Little Pony, actually. Like, she was wearing, she had this really, to this day, still slightly bitter about this sweatshirt that she had, because I thought it was so cool. Because I used to be a very much so big fan of My Little Pony as a child. But, we talked, and I was like, do you want to be friends? And she was like, yeah! Because, you know, that's how things work when you're nine. And so I invited her to sit with me at lunch. And then the next, because it was after lunch the next day. And I couldn't find her. I couldn't remember what she looked like. I'm terrible with faces. I didn't even know her name. But then I looked around the cafeteria and I saw the sweatshirt. And I was like, that's her. That is her. And so I waved her down. And she was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know if you were actually serious or not. I'm so glad you waved me down, because she said she would have felt really awkward just coming and sitting down at my table. And, uh, here we are. Eight years later. And we are still friends. But yeah, so she was my friend who did marching band with me. And then my other friend I met because I... We recognized each other on the first day of seventh grade. Because we uh, knew each other through someone else. Like, we'd met the year before. And we were at the same table in 7th grade uh, life science or whatever it is that you learn in 7th grade. And we were at the same table and she was like, wait, KZ? And I was like, wait, brace face? And, she, and then, so then we became, we sat together at lunch because our school divides into two teams. Like the middle school does, and each team has their own set of teachers. And there's not really any crossover except for math, because there are some advanced math classes at our middle school. But we're on the same team. And so for the first, like, week of school, they divide the cafeteria in half and have you sit only with the kids on your team. And... My little pony friend was on the other team. Oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to do this one. Oh gosh. This might be it for me. <laughs> like, I can barely do glass jumps as is. Oh gosh. Anyways, so me and this person, uh, me and Brace, we sat together at lunch, and it was history from there. We've been friends now for, oh, I don't remember what grade I'm in, but lot, many years. So after I met Braceface and My Little Pony Girl, I was ecstatic to have friends, right? Like... You know, any kid going into high school would love to have friends. And for marching band, I also made some new friends, and I was friends with some upperclassmen. I was ready to start high school. And slowly, the longer I did marching band and the longer 
I work on trying to talk in class, I have gotten to the point where I am today, where I'm actually pretty good at talking to people. So, okay, not great. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm in my room making YouTube videos instead of out socializing. But to be fair, there is a pandemic, but, and instead of being out talking to the peoples, I'm in my bedroom playing Minecraft. I always think about the fact that I'd be a very different person than I am now if my parents hadn't had me move to where we are now. Just the fact that I was able to get specialized help with what I need, like the music teacher who would have me go in before school and sing with her. Apparently that helped. Or the fact that I was able, that I decided to start playing instruments. Like, I have a pretty good feeling that that's something I wouldn't have done if I'd still lived in the town I grew up in. Just because... I don't know, I probably would have just hung out with the people I knew already and never tried to do something for myself. Like, when I started playing clarinet, there was no one telling, like, my only friend at the time was My Little Pony Girl. The only thing we ever did with each other was play, like, My Little Pony, like, watch, like, we would go to, I would go to over to her house we would play My Little Pony, like watch My Little Pony and play Barbie dolls. We were like nine. So don't at me, but that would be a lot. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't like this jump. I don't like it. it. It would be a lot different now if I tried to do, like it would have been a lot different if I lived in the town I grew up in. I probably would have ended up doing something with all of my friends because that's kind of what they all did. They all, like my old friends, all did things like they all got into theater and maybe that would have led to me doing band. But I like to think that everything happens for a reason. It, like not like super like, it, like I was, it was not like I don't, I think I would have eventually started to come out of my shell, but maybe not as fast as I did. And it's not like I'm trying to say I was destined to be a clarinet player, because if I was destined to be a clarinet player, you'd think I'd be better at playing. But it doesn't really matter to me that I'm not the best clarinet player, because I love doing it. Would I like to be better than I am? Yeah, is that going to happen? No, I have asthma. That's just not going to work. I, it doesn't mean I don't still love playing when I do. I just can't play for that long. But I'm just... Like, if I had continued to grow up in the town that I grew up in, like, if I had continued through the elementary school I was at, I probably would not be making a YouTube video right now. I don't even, I don't really want to think about who I'd be because I like who I am as a person. And it's taken me a long time to get to the point where I'm like, it is okay that I am a band geek. And it is okay. That talking to people makes me want to throw up sometimes. That is all right. So yeah, that's my story from going from child who ended up getting a treat when they told their parents that they talked to their teacher on the first day of school. to now the kid who in a marching band season performs. For, oh gosh, we did the math once with all the sh shows and stuff we do. I want to, it's like a few thousand people 